next handful of videos are from a small 37 square mile island in the middle of the Caribbean Sea called St. Martin. The island is divided, half of which is Dutch and the other half French. On the Dutch side, just our luck, there's a WSOP circuit event taking place that we're going to try our luck in. You guys are into poker with a bit of beautiful scenery mixed in. You're going to love this series. We had a blast exploring the island for a bit with our buddy who needs no introduction. What better way to stand out as American tourists than matching outfits? I bought the lobster trunks and Ethan copped us the Troublemakers t-shirts. With our outfits on point and the Instagram pictures taken, we're ready to take on the WSOP. First hand of the night, I look down at ace 10 of clubs from the low jack. I have 12k in my stack and the big blind is 200. I'm looking at around 60 bigs at the moment. When the player to my right opens it up to 600 from a $200 big blind. I three bet him to 1600 with ace 10 of clubs. The big blind puts in the call and the early position does as well. We're going three ways to a flop, which comes queen, jack, four. Not a great board for our exact hand, although we do have the gutter to Broadway. Much more likely to connect with the big blind and early position hands like king, queen, queen, jack, jack, 10, things of that nature. When the action checks to me, I decide to check behind here and hopefully peel off a king on the turn which doesn't come, it's the 10 of hearts. The big blind checks, the early position now bets out into both of us for $1,900. I get out of the way here, even though I made a pair. I'm only gonna win here with an ace or a king on the river. I get out of the way and the big blind calls. At the end of the hand, the early position ends up scooping with queen 10 for two pair. As if that wasn't bad enough losing the first hand of the night, we look to our left and a guy literally has ranges opened up on his iPad. I sent a picture of this to Ethan and he thinks it's funny as well, but uh, at a circuit event here in the middle of the Caribbean, people are actually proficient looking at preflop range charts. I'm in my head now thinking maybe I should have done more studying for this tournament until I look down at pocket kings. There's pretty much no way you can play this wrong preflop, especially on a 6k stack here. With the big blind at 400, pretty much going to have to get our stack in versus any aggression. I'm first to act. When I open it up to $1,100, the big blind puts in the call and we're off to a flop, which comes queen jack four with two diamonds. Not a bad board to get the rest of our stack in. Opponents could have a hand like 10-9, two diamonds, ace, queen, queen, king, things of that nature. So, uh, But however, the action does not check over to me. The opponent actually leads out into me for $1,100. I was going to rip my entire stack in anyways, so I'm going to do it here and hope to pick up the $1,100 if he folds. He doesn't. He puts in the call and we're off to a run out. He turns over a hand that we have beat in this moment and pretty handily, I must admit. Jack-10 of clubs is in pretty rough shape. The turn comes a queen of clubs pairing the board and the river comes a three of diamonds sealing the fate for the opponent and I get my full double up here up to 14k in my stack. Next hand with blinds at 200, 400, 400. I look down at king jack offsuit from the big blind. Three lips to me and I decide to rip it in for 7,000 chips. When everybody folds, we take down the dead money around $1,000 and uh, we're up to 8k in our stack. After getting blinded down a little bit more, I look down at ace jack offsuit. I only have 4k in my stack at the $400 blind level. That's around 10 bigs. I'm on the big blind and I rip it all in for 4k and the big blind puts in the call. I'm hoping to be ahead here or for behind. Maybe it's a hand like pocket sixes through pocket nines. Either way though, the big blind puts in the call and we're going to see what he has. Ace king offsuit is not great news for us. How does he wake up with that from the big blind? So when the flop comes 987 all hearts, he additionally has the king of hearts in our hand. Null our jack of hearts. We can win with any 10 or any jack. We're hoping to see that on the turn, which doesn't come the three of spades, followed by the four of clubs. 
And just like that, we are out of the tournament. But no fear, we brought a lot of cash here to St. Martin. Don't tell the locals that. And uh, we're going to fire another entry here. It's $250 plus the $20 dealer appreciation for the bonus. Real quickly, I wanted to let you guys know about a few meetup games that are taking place in the next few weeks. First off, on June 12th in the Phoenix area, I'll be hitting up Gila Lone Butte from 4 to 8 p.m. on the 12th. After that, we'll be driving over to El Paso on the 13th, going to House of Kings. On the 14th, we'll be in Albuquerque at Sandia. And on the 15th of June, Stack Social Club in Lubbock, Texas. After that, I'll have a few more meetup games. But if you guys are in the Phoenix area, come out on June 12th from 4 to 8 p.m. And uh, let's get those cards in the air. The blinds are now 300, 500, 500, and I have 5,900 in my stack after getting blinded down a little bit. I look down from the button at queen six of clubs. A few limps to me, and with all the money out there and no one really taking any initiative, I decided to rip in my 10 big blind stack here. I ended up getting called by the cutoff who limped. And a great news for us is he's on island time here. He turns over four deuce of hearts. So we're definitely ahead in this spot, and we're looking to scoop this 13k pot. The flop gives us both a pair, but we have the better of it. The turn comes a five of clubs, followed by the eight of diamonds. And just like that, we're going to get a double up to 13k. 400, 800, 800 now, and we look down at ace eight offsuit. I'm on the button and one limp to me. I had 8,600 in my stack when I started and uh, I decided to rip it all in. One of the limpers called with pocket five so we're in a good old fashioned flip here and uh, we're off to a run out here in a 20k pot. The flop gives us trips comes 8-8 eight, eight, king bang we flop three of a kind. Great spot for us the opponent can only improve with a five which comes on the turn the five of hearts how is that even possible? And the river comes the jack of diamonds. After following trips on the board, we finally were going to have a good stack until a five of hearts peels off on the turn. Just like that, we're in for two bullets with zero chips sitting in front of us. No fear though, I have enough money in my pocket for another bullet. I rebuy for $270 and we look down at ace king of clubs with 14k in our stack. We're at the 400, 800, 800 blinds and under the gun raises it up to $16. One player puts in the call and now the hijack raises it up to 9800 I'm not exactly a tournament player, but in cash games, which I'm definitely stronger in, Ace-King suited here is going to be worthy of a 4-bet. Given the fact I have 14 k in my stack and there's already a lot of money in the middle, I have a great hand here. I'm only really losing to Aces and Kings. Against Pocket Queens, we're in flipping territory 50-50, so I decided to put my entire chip stack in here, hoping everybody just mucks. The only player that puts in the call is the Hijack, who made it 9800 He, of course, calls for 5000 more, and we're off to a run out. He turns over the Jiggity's pocket jacks, the Yanni's, and we're in a good old fashioned flip. Gonna need to see an ace, a king, or three clubs, and the flop does not give us any help. The turn card pairs the board, it's a seven of hearts. Gonna need an ace or a king here, dealer, please, so I do not have to rebuy for a fourth time. But the dealer shows no mercy. He turns over the 10 of spades. The opponent's gonna win a 34,000 chip pot. Brutal luck for us so far in our first event. We go back to the cage and take out another $270 from our pocket. We're in for one more buy-in. Little update here. We're in for bullet number four. Uh, getting it in good-ish, like flips and stuff, but uh, not working too well. But uh, fourth time's a charm. Seems to be a pretty fun field. A lot of uh, tourists, and we got a fish behind us over here. But uh, yeah, let's see what we can do with bullet number four. And we just sat down, and we're on Ethan's direct right, which is, I don't know if it's good or bad, but I know that he's opening up pretty wide, so we'll see. Back in for bullet number four. Seems like a pretty soft table. So soft. soft. <laughs> it's trying to compensate by building up, but it's not that many chips. Building a big pyramid just to make it look like that one. All right, end of lie. break. <laughs> look at this guy. This donk to my right. <laughs> number one, baby. Yeah, one. yeah, right. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> You dog. <laughs> After roasting the guy earlier in the video for pulling out the preflop range charts, I pull them out for myself and get roasted by Ethan. Of course I do. We're at the 600, 1200, 1200 blind level, and I look down from the low jack at ace jack offsuit. Having less than 10 big blinds here, it folds over to me, and I jam it in, which is pretty standard. The cutoff re raises to 20k, which is definitely not great news, and everybody folds. Going heads up to a run out here, and he turns over ace king of diamonds. So we're going to need a jack, maybe four spades or four hearts, but we're in a tough spot here in a 22k pot. And the flop comes all diamonds. He flops us dead. Absolute disaster for us. Can we approve? No. The turn comes the queen of hearts. 
followed by Who Cares on the River. And uh, just like that, we're out for four bullets. What is up, you guys? Uh, reporting back with some not-so-good news. We are out on bullet number four, Ace King versus Ace Jack. You just saw that, but it was a, a fun run here. Sitting next to Ethan at the end made it worth it. Yeah, it was a fun time. We are back here the next 12 days. Probably going to be a bunch more videos. Got a cool sponsorship I want to let you guys know about. But uh, for the run good, if you guys are new, drop a subscribe, hit the like button. Leave a comment down below letting me know if I played any of those heads uh, super bad. But appreciate all the support. I'm having a blast here in St. Martin. We're going to go ATV riding tomorrow. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, and I'll catch you guys in that next video. Peace. Thanks for watching to the end of my video. Click my head below to subscribe and stay in the loop. See you next time.